Well, I, I think the fact that uh, we have finally been able to uh, figure out a way to, to be able to do all these uh, very difficult computations in a parallel fashion so that we can serve up results in minutes, things that used to take uh, you know, 10 hours, 15 hours, we can do now in just a minute or two. Uh, and the visual analytics, uh, the, the goal there is to get people excited about being able to look at you know, a billion rows of data uh, almost instantaneously, just in a second or two, to be able to look at charts and plots and really discover things that uh, you didn't realize was there. I've had uh, several of our early uh, visual analytics customers say that they found things that they didn't realize existed. A bank found a, a, a branch that didn't have anybody under 50 uh, as customers. Uh, so they have to put, you know, so instantly they can do a, a marketing campaign to try to address that. It's just the fact that you can now look at all this huge amounts of data. You don't have to take little samples, you don't have to look at little snippets. You can look at all that data and try to really get a handle on what's going on. While we're seeing more and more businesses um, collect huge amounts of data, uh, we call it big data because that's, uh, that's just the current name is big data. And uh, we, fit, we fit into that very well because um, with that data, uh, companies are realizing that it is a very valuable asset and they need to use that data to develop predictive models to help them uh, run their business more efficiently. Uh, we help a lot of companies do optimization uh, on processes that, that they have uh, been using for a long time. Uh, one of the retail uh, concepts is, is to be able to forecast uh, movement of particular pieces of uh, clothing and, and then determine an optimum sale price to put that on. Visualization is a, is a, a very uh, key aspect uh, because we're able to to see things that we've never seen before because we've actually, for the first time, been able to have all of our data together and to be able to probe and push and check this and check that. And before it's always been on a small subset and, and things that were, uh, were there, often you didn't, you didn't see, but when you can actually pull all that data together and visualize it, actually run small models on it, regression models or forecasting, and uh, it, it allows you to uh, really begin to get a feel for what, what's in your data. Uh, quite frankly, uh, for 90% uh, 90, 90 of our users, uh, uh, the uh, performance of SAS uh, as it is right now will be fine. But as we do get into bigger and bigger data and, and more and more um, uh, machines that are spitting out data, all the routers, uh, all the computers, all the telco networks, uh, all the sensors in the, in the power grid, um, we're going to have to have ways to analyze that, that much, much larger amounts of data. So, yeah, it's understandable. A lot of people don't need it, but it's coming where we're, we're going to be deluged in data and we've got to find ways to, to get on top of that. And fortunately, SAS is there already.